Sunday yeah because I worked yesterday and it was like enjoy your off day so yes I have been in the house all day so I'm getting a late start it is 3 38 p.m girl we're just now throwing on some clothes and deciding very much deciding to hit these streets just for a minute and I do mean a split second we're not going to be out here all day grab something to eat and pick up some last minute ends and odds for Christmas because girl yesterday yeah yesterday was saturday because i went to work and i put up my little christmas tree girl i gotta show you that i did record the entire process but i got a little clips a few clips to share with you of the christmas tree and i'm pretty sure you'll see it throughout the week when i vlog at work but girl my little christmas tree came out so cute it's one of those little three foot pre-lit trees super cute decorated with, with some stuff of that I stuff i picked up from the dollar tree and then i went over to old time pottery yesterday girl they had the cutest things so i woke up today saying that i was gonna go over the top of the morning to pick up a few things that i shouldn't have left behind but i picked up three i gotta show you these three ornaments but girl now i need two more and now i can't stop thinking about a few things that i saw so i said girl let's go back over here and i'm gonna take y'all so y'all can see all the cute things that old time pottery has and right now all the christmas decor is 25 percent off so we're gonna pick up a, a few things and i do mean a few because we don't need all this stuff but girl, the prettiest decorations. But let me show you some of my new additions to my tree right now. But I am going to show you my Christmas tree at work, like I said. But you'll be seeing that when I'm, I'm vlogging at work. And it came out so cute. I'm so proud of it. But yeah, girl, let me show you my new additions. Yeah. So, girl, look at these. They look like feathers. I picked up three. And I feel like the tree needs two more. Like one here and here. Like in between because it just drapes down. Oh, now I'm sure this is why I like recording the long way because you get the full idea when I record to where it fills up the screen. You don't see the whole thing. Okay, but look at how sparkly these are. But you're going to see them in the store. We're going to get two more of those. And girl, these were only $1.99. So cute. And they had the cutest pink wreath. Oh, perfect. Old Time Pottery is like Christmas headquarters. Now, Hobby Lobby has cute Christmas decor too, but Old Time Pottery, girl. They're just the more affordable option. But these are so pretty though, right? Yes, that is so pretty. It's gaudy, but it is pretty, girl. I love bling. Not that my tree really needed anything else, but girl, those feathers just did it for me. So I need two more. So five is perfect for this size tree. And this is only a six foot. Girl, it's it's, it's so cute. I, whew, we got to go get them. Let's just go. Let's just go. And then these mini Christmas trees. I do like these. And when I was in the Dollar Tree getting that makeshift tree skirt for my mini Christmas tree in my office I I want to say that I saw some of these in pink and I didn't think to grab them and then I was watching Raven Elise decorate her office and her office was pink and she had the cutest little pink Christmas tree so that inspired me but Raven Elise is just the queen of home decor girl she is doing it big over on her channel and her home is just so beautiful so i want to pick up a few more of these so right now i just have three of these mini christmas trees and this style um christmas planters so pretty i was thinking about getting another one and have those put in the bathroom well you, you know if i just get one just for the guest bathroom because i don't need all that in my personal bathroom it's not that deep for me but yeah that's what we're into today and just see what prettiness 
they have to offer. Dollar Tree and Old Time Pottery. All right, so one of my Walmart delivery orders just came. And in here, I just got some cleaning supplies and the best smelling Glade plug-in refills ever. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so this crisp cranberry champagne. Oh, it smells so good. And I'm a sucker for scents, girl. I love it when my home smells super good. And this is one of those. It doesn't give holiday vibes. I could plug these in year round, but it is perfect for the holidays. It smells so good. So give this one a try, please. It smells so good. I'm going to put one up front and one in my bedroom. Because I think I just put a new one in the up front bathroom. But yeah. I love it when my place smells delish. So we are here. Ooh, they got quite a few people in the parking lot today. And it's so different in here now. Girl, they have a clothing section. Like, when did that happen? Yeah, I know my wig is looking a little crazy. I got caught in the rain yesterday. So tonight or sometime in the morning, we got to give it some revamping. But meanwhile, this is good enough. Let's go on in here and see what they have left. And wait till y'all see this. They have a legit clothing and shoe section. I was shocked. Is this one? No, that says exit only. Girl, look at this. They got clothes. You know, time powder girl. And that one's real pretty. Now these will look pretty on the coffee table or add it to my wreath to give it some pink to go with my decor. My pink Christmas decor, but this doesn't have a price tag on it. I'm pretty sure it's like two bucks. Let's see. Oh no, they're four. They're real cute. But you need two or three bundles to make a nice centerpiece. But it's so pretty. This garland is so cute. Pretty for your TV mantle. If you got stairs. Pretty on the banisters. These are so pretty. I have these, but mine are just plain. But it's this pink wreath though for me. But I feel like I can do this. I can definitely do this. This is so pretty. We got two of them. Oh, so gorgeous. Now this one's real pretty too. With the charms on them. Mmm, tinsel. Christmas tree. Always the little rainbow tree for me. That's cute. Oh, and these are 50% off. Oh, and Gigi. This is my speed. Look at it. Oh, M, Gigi. I like them both. But the pre-lit one though, we got some thinking to do. Do I want this? And it has the silver tips. I like a flocked Christmas tree, but I can live with that. 
so nice. Oh, this one's pretty lit too though. Even long ways, you don't get the whole tree in the frame, but it's nine foot. And this one is seven. Okay, so now we are in the ornament section. Not many in pink. Please let them have those feathers left. And they don't have them. They were hanging right over here. Unless they're on another aisle. But I got them from over here. But look at this. Oh, MGG. How pretty is that? That is gorgeous. Here's a three pack of the little tinsel town trees. But I'd want a variation of sizes, but then they are in pink too. I get the little cupcake ornaments. And the pine cones are cute too. But these are the smaller ornaments that I have right now on my tree. It's this set. No, I take the bag. I have a set of these as well. Well, both. Because I love that mauviness. That mauve color in there is so pretty too. And that's real pretty too though. I've always wanted some of the little woodland creature type ornaments. But the little black tinsel tree is so pretty. So this would be like 30 bucks. That's so cute. Here are the little Santa boots for everybody obsessed with the little boots. It's cute. They got a pink one. It's cute. But I really like the gold. It's just giving. That one's super cute. It's $7.99. Do I want a Santa boot? I think I want a boot. So I just found some cute picks to go in my wreath so I don't have to buy another wreath. I can just turn it into a pink wreath like the one we saw all of this stuff is 25% off all kinds of cute picks so you don't have to keep buying Christmas decor over and over again you can just revamp it that's a pretty color and there's some pink poinsettias girl this place has everything let me hurry up and get on out of here because we still got to stop by the Dollar Tree. What is this though? These are so pretty. So this is what we have so far. All right, girl, we got our stuff. definitely not it a little too skimpy for me no thanks yeah y'all dollar trees are not created equal this one doesn't have any cute holiday stuff at all especially as it pertains to the cute christmas trees so that had to be the one that i was in a couple of days ago in huntsville that had all the cute stuff because this one definitely doesn't have it 
They got the C4 energy drinks and Alani coffee. Hmm. I didn't really like those though when I ordered those from Walmart. Oh, and the Alani energy drinks. I'm not a big energy drink person though. Might be good, but I don't know. I definitely needed one of these. This little multi socket. I did grab that. I got it in my hands. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get on out of here. Grab some food and go home. All right, so I came up with some pretty cool things, but not what I wanted. I think that was the store in Huntsville last week that I saw all the cute stuff. So we'll probably just visit that one tomorrow. All right, y'all, so I'm finally home. I'm gonna show you the cute things that I got from Old Time Pottery. And I didn't find anything super cute in the Dollar Tree. Because like I said, Dollar Trees are just not created equal. I need to go back to the one in the city. The one that we were at last week. That one had all the good stuff. All of it. Um, but I did find a really cute tumbler. Look at this. And it, they had this in um, green and blue. In addition to the red. I picked this up to keep this one at my desk for days that I forget to bring a cup because I always carry a cup okay and I thought this was so cute and I was also thinking that this would be a cute gift for the girls in their goodie bags what you think if you have a better stocking stuffer idea let me know down below in the comments what will you be getting or if anything your co-worker because I know how we can feel about co-workers from time to time. So let me know, if anything, what you're going to be getting. But I just thought this was cute and simple to put in a gift bag and some candies or whatnot. And call it a day. There we go. You gave a gift. And it's, kind of, and it's cute. This is very cute and nice. And it's functional. Who doesn't need a cute tumbler? Everybody needs a cute tumbler. And, you know, I like to keep one in my purse. Yeah, I'm watching movie trailers, trying to get an idea as to what I want to watch tonight. Because that's what type of night this is going to be. A cuddle up and watch movies. I'm going to pour myself a drink. Probably make myself like a cold iced coffee. A boozy, cold iced coffee. And yeah, girl, this is the night <laughs> of relaxation. But I've seen some pretty interesting movie trailers so far. Let me know down below if you're going to see the color purple Christmas night. I'm actually thinking about doing that. I got to find my purple outfit, you know. I'm a rule follower. Oprah says she wants us in purple. And I'm going to find me a cute purple outfit. So these are the picks that I picked up. This one is going on my wreath that I have on the door. I'm about to go and take it down. And we're going to insert it. Cause I wanted to throw some pink on my wreath and this would go perfect. Get it spread out. But you'll see the final product. It's still kind of, you know, put together. Keep it together for now. And then this is going on the wreath as well. Decorative gold pick. Real glittery girl. We love our glitter. And this is staying in the bag because it's going back to work with me. It is going on my Christmas tree. But look, let me go ahead and insert the clips of my work Christmas tree right now. So it's this little Christmas hat. We're going to turn this into the tree skirt. So here's my current wreath. Now, almost everything was some of this and these gold balls and this gold frilly set. These are all picks that I and pins that I added to it to give it some more flair. So we're going to switch some things up. I'm going to take this set off. I'm just going to put this on the Christmas tree and add the pink and the new gold to it. I don't know. We might add this back. We might. And this is so pretty. I should have kept looking for more of the pink. Flowers, poinsettias, oh, MGG. So we we're gonna have to we're gonna have to double back and 
do some extra digging and see if we can find some more because that is so pretty now i just want to replace this one because this is a stick on too it actually has a clip on it but until we get another one we're gonna leave it but i do like the way it turned out she's cute well this is an easy way to revamp christmas decor that you already have because you know these wreaths a lot of times are made out of foam with a round part that constructs the wreath because mine is and i can just easily stick the picks in it to create whatever look i want with this but i like it what do you think we girl like a glitter everywhere but i got to clean up anyway so i'm gonna windex this table down and then vacuum before i go to bed actually i'm gonna do that now so y'all look at this little heater i got it plugs into the wall socket now this is by the brand called handy heater now i have one of the small space heaters by handy heater i bought it last last winter when i tell you that little heater heats up girl it heats up so fast and gets so hot I woke up in the middle of the night, girl. My eyes was dry. My lips was dry. My lips was cracked and bleeding, girl. That thing had my room so hot. But this one is the very same way. I absolutely love it. So when you cut it off, it immediately goes to 90. That's probably the same deal with the one in my room. But, girl, it gets so hot. So if you're looking for a bathroom heater or just, you know, a small heater to plug into a small space, this is the best. And they have all types. You don't have to get handy heater. I only bought handy heater because I just know about the brand. But I'll have them linked down below just in case you're interested. But you can control the temperature right here. You can go up and down with it. It's nice. And girl, it has, what do you call this? Like the, how it blows the heat. Like the range, it goes pretty far. The heat range goes far. You know, I'm not a good tech reviewer, but girl. It heats up this bathroom in about six, seven minutes. Let me tell you that. And it's not a huge bathroom, but it heats it up pretty good. I enjoy it. I think it was like 29 bucks, but they do have some for like 22, $24 on Amazon. But I'll have the options linked down below. But the Handy Heater brand is well worth the coin. It is one of those as seen on TV brands, but I'll have my little space heater in my bedroom um, linked to so you can see what they look like and they look the same like it's this gray and black and silver scheme just like this it's pretty cool i enjoy it i'm glad i got it pick this up in the dollar tree because i need this to go here because this takes up so much space and when i'm in here trying to curl my hair in the mornings so i don't have to keep unplugging my plug in and doing the most you know all right, now I can use my, oh, I need to replace this anyway. So I'm gonna put one of my new ones up here. So now I can use a plug-in and curl my hair at the same time. But we are gonna refill this plug-in though with my cranberry crisp. But yeah. Y'all, although, although we're not officially doing Vlogmas, I wanna try to upload as many videos as it pertains to vlogging per week in December as much as I can even though I just can't see me trying to do this every day and plus I don't feel like my life is like one of those lives that is worth vlogging every day I literally go to work every day and I feel like those that have the best vlogmas vlogs are those that really are dedicated to vlogmas and they don't have like a traditional nine to five they're just solely like youtube entrepreneurs this is what they do and they just make it their business to create fun videos they just you know create almost like an itinerary of things that oh i'm gonna do today to go record for a video like i i don't do that when i wake up whatever i just do that day is just what we get that's what i record so this this video today is kind of like a test to test my ability to try my best to bring you some content almost daily we're gonna see i'm not making no promises and i'm not saying or trying to set this in stone i'm just saying i'm gonna try 
But let me know down below if that's something that you would be interested in. Because if it isn't, I'll go on about my business and do what it is that I've been doing. Even though my goal is always each week is to um, give you some type of a vlog and pump out these wig reviews. But I'll try to do more vlogging. That I'm going to try. But let me know if that's something you're going to be interested in. Because I won't do it if you don't care about it. You don't care about it, I ain't going to do it. But meanwhile, I'm about to get ready for bed, watch some TV, girl. I have a meeting in the morning at 11 a.m. via Teams. And I need to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for that. Um, though it shouldn't take very long. And then after that, get myself together, girl. And I'm planning to do... Um, the ultimate thrifting trip tomorrow. I want to go do some shopping at Unclaimed. But we'll see how that goes. And if we do that tomorrow, girl, I'll have that video up by the end of the night too. We'll see how that goes. Because I really want to go check things out. Because I am on their um, newsletter list. And they do got some new electronics. So I want to see what they got in store. I want to go see what they got. And yeah. I will probably eat something good. And further relax. And yeah. Take it easy, girl. So, yeah, that is it for me. I will see you at my next video, and there will definitely be another video. But let me leave you with some uh, words of wisdom, okay? Let me leave you with something. A wise woman once said, The key to a happy and most prosperous life is to say your prayers. And mind your business. Mind your personal business. And that's it. That's it. That's all you got to do. And every day, I make it my business to do just that. And I'm challenging you to do that same thing, okay? And let's see how far that takes you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.